the things that we do for beauty. Am I right? Hey guys, it's Ellie, and welcome back to Beauty Hacks. Fail or Holy Grail, where we test Pinterest Beauty Hacks and see if they're a fail, or a Holy Grail, or a Holy Fail. Today we are doing the Coca-Cola Hair Rinse, made famous by supermodel Suki Waterhouse, and it was the number one voted hack that you guys wanted to see in this week's poll. So let's go ahead and get started. For this hack, you will need Coca-Cola. The research I've done says if you have short hair, one can will suffice. If you have long hair, like I do, you'll need two cans. We're using two bottles because I just want to make sure we have enough to do this. And today we are sharing a Coke with Margaret and Connie. So shout out to any Margarets or Connies out there. We're sharing Cokes with you today. This is my natural texture. My hair is completely dry right now and I haven't styled it whatsoever. It's just kind of like long and straight and it does some things at the end but n but not really. So according to the internet if you rinse your hair with coke it will give you nice tousled Amazon like waves and the internet did say it works best on thin limp hair. My hair is not thin it's fairly thick so I don't know how it's gonna work for me but you guys wanted to see it and I want to see it so we're gonna try it. Okay so since I won't probably be able to explain this to you as I'm pouring it over my hair I'm just gonna tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put all my hair over and I'm gonna pour the coke over my hair into this bowl and I think it's gonna take all of my concentration so I'm probably just gonna put it to music and we'll see what happens. I'm a little terrified but let's go ahead and see. All right, here we go. Oh man, this is not working, it's not fitting in the bowl. My aim is off. The things we do for beauty. Am I right? Okay, so my hair has been rinsed in this Coke. I had to use two bottles of Coke because a lot of it went under my table here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump in the shower and rinse this out with water. And then you let it air dry or dry it. I think I'm gonna dry it with a hair dryer because we don't have time to air dry right now. And I'm gonna scrunch it as I dry to kind of give it some tousled power. And then I'll be back and we'll look at my hair and we'll see what happened. This is what it looks like post shower. So. There's potential. It definitely looks more wavy than usual. So I'm not gonna brush it because I don't wanna ruin any of the waves that might be happening. So I'm just gonna blow dry it and hope that it will come out beautimous. Okay, so halfway check-in. I'm about halfway dry here and it's looking pretty good. I mean, I definitely have more texture than usual. I don't know if this is something that looks very nice, but I think that it's definitely getting there. So let me finish drying it and then we'll find out. Okay, so my hair is completely dry now. Obviously, I lost all of my makeup when I rinsed it in the shower, and I lost my Failure Holy Grail shirt too because it got covered in soda. So I put on this black tank top, not realizing that you can't see my hair because it's the same color as the tank top. So I'm gonna put on a white shirt, and I'm just gonna throw it on over so that we can see my hair texture. Okay, so here is the hair texture. It is definitely different than my natural hair texture when I just shampoo it normally. It feels not crunchy, but dry, like it does when you use a salt spray. Obviously there is some texture, my hair has some waves in it that it didn't have before, and it's fine by me. I feel like this could be styled to be really cute. Obviously, I don't know if I'm ready to walk out of the house right now, but it would be cute in a ponytail to have like a really textured beachy ponytail, or you could even pin the bangs up and just go looking wild and stuff. I like textured wild bedhead looks, so I think it's pretty cool. And frankly, this is something I would do because it's much easier than actually, you know, going over your hair with a waver or even braiding it the night before. And it's cheap because it's Coke. So overall, I will totally do this again because I want to experiment with this and see if I can really master it and make it work for me. So I'm, I'm absolutely going to do this again. And I'm really impressed with the results because I'm kind of almost the opposite of what it's recommended for. I really thought that my hair would just be kind of like the same when I washed it out so I'm impressed. I don't know, I really kind of want to rule it a holy grail. I'm excited about it. It's different. You know, I do so many things to my hair to make it have texture like this. Now I have texture like this and all I did was wash it with coke and then rinse it with water. So I'm impressed, you know. Obviously it's not red carpet ready yet, but I think I can get it there. 
So it's a holy grail for me. Have you guys tried this before? I would love to know if anyone has tried this before. Leave comments down below if you have. If you haven't, leave comments down below if you think this is a fail, a holy fail, or a holy grail. I always love to know what you guys think. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to vote down below for next week's beauty hack. I love to know what you guys want to see. And if you want to pick up the fail or holy grail shirt, I'll leave that link down below as well. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye.